This is David Pollock, author of the new biography, Bob and Ray, Keener Than Most Persons, and chatting with Bob Elliott himself. And just flipping through these pages, Bob, it's good to see that you and Ray kept up the long-established radio station tradition of pulling pranks on unsuspecting colleagues. Well, that's true. Bob Delaney, who uh, before he became a, a sports announcer, he did a night program called Music for Dreaming uh, with uh, Montavani and uh, Costellanis and Man- Mancini. Well, Ray and I made a quick trip to New York. Uh, we were listening to Delaney and enjoying a couple of nightcaps when uh, it occurred to us we could have some fun. I did a pretty good imitation of Bill McGrath, the manager. So I called as McGrath. I said, I'd like you, Bob, to put on a record for me, if you will. I got some uh, Marine buddies at the house for the weekend and would all like to hear Semper Paratus. Delaney was floored. He said, but sir, this is music for dreaming. It, it wouldn't be appropriate. Mom, this is an order. Get Semper Paratus out of the library and play it. And the call ended. Well, minutes later, we heard the clashing cymbals and familiar march of Semper Paratus. And in less than a minute later, there was a, another call to Delaney. It was a furious McGrath uh, telling him to uh, fade it out and segue to Mancini again. But you told me to play it. They both realized at the same time that I was the culprit. So needless to say, next morning Bill summoned me to his office and let me know that I shouldn't use his voice again. And I never did. Thanks, Bob. We've been chatting with Bob Elliott about the new biography, Bob and Ray, Keener Than Most Persons, the backstage story of Bob Elliott and Ray Goulding from Applause Books.